Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the different charging standards, namely the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, Moto Turbo Charging, VWC Charging from Oppo, and finally the OnePlus Dash Charge as well. We'll be using different smartphones for the different charging standards. For example, for the Quick Charge 3.0 from Qualcomm, we'll be using a Xiaomi Mi 5. For the Motorola Turbo Charging, we'll be using a Motorola G3 Turbo. For the VWC, we'll be using a Oppo R7 Plus. For the Dash Charge, we'll be using OnePlus 3. And finally, for the Adaptive Charging, we'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S7. The Mi 5 has a 3000mAh battery, the R7 Plus has a 4100mAh battery, the S7 has a 3000mAh battery, the Moto G3 Turbo has a 2470mAh battery, and finally the OnePlus 3 has a 3000mAh battery as well. We'll not just be comparing the charging speed times from 0 to 100 or say 0 to 60, but we'll also be comparing it at each regular interval, say from 10 to 20, 30 to 40, etc. And we'll also be taking a look at the performance over a certain period and also the heat consistency on the smartphone, whether it gets overheated or whether it's actually keeping temperature controlled, especially in case of the dash charge, which promises a good thermal throttling since most of his charging calculations are done on the charger itself. So we'll be taking a look at this across all other platforms and we'll also be taking a look whether there is any deviation from the official mentioned specifications of these charging methods or whether they actually live up to their claims. One of the things most valued by consumers today on smartphones is the battery life. Regardless of the kind of specifications or features it packs, users want more and more juice to power their device for as long as possible. There was a time when the average smartphone battery life had gone well below a day of use even for an average or light user and that's when people got dependent on battery packs and other charging methods. However, these days manufacturers have made the push to include not just larger capacity batteries but also optimize the battery consumption. However, even then there are situations that demand a quick recharge of their smartphone and people don't really want to carry around a battery pack or charger. That's when quick charging came as a problem solver. Quick charging would allow users to get X% percent of battery charging within Y minutes and that was often the difference between keeping users entertained through a bus journey instead of getting bored or allowing them to find their way to their destination instead of getting stranded. But which company has the fastest charging or to be more specific, which fast charging technology is the most efficient and effective? Figures claimed by most companies only reflect a part of the actual truth and that is why we decided to find out for ourselves and present the results to you. For the test, we decided to compare the Xiaomi Mi 5, Moto G3 Turbo, OnePlus 3, Oppo R7 Plus and Samsung Galaxy S7. They use Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, Turbo Charging, Dash Charge, VWC and Adaptive Fast Charging Technologies respectively. Here is a chart of the amount of time taken and the percentage of charge the phone can accumulate over said time. Bear in mind that there are also differences in battery capacity as stated below and we have tried to get smartphones with the same capacity where we could. Due to differences in battery capacities, we would also need to calculate the amount of amperes fed to the phone in each case. In the case of the R7 Plus, the capacity is larger at 4100mAh and in case of the Moto G3 Turbo, the capacity is smaller at 2470mAh. The Mi 5, the Galaxy S7 as well as OnePlus 3 all have the same 3000mAh battery capacity. The chart shows the charging time taken by each phone at different intervals as well as the amount of charge being fed to the phone per minute and per second. From the stats, we can see that the OnePlus 3 was the quickest to charge from 0 to 100% while the Moto G3 Turbo was the slowest. The Galaxy S7 and Mi 5 come in at 3rd and 4th places respectively. When you take that into account, you'll observe that Oppo's VWC charging method is the most efficient since it manages to refill around 42.6 mAh per minute or 0.71 mAh per second, while OnePlus Dash Charge comes in second with 40.8 mAh per minute or 0.68 mAh per second. The other three standings remain the same order since the S7, Mi 5 and G3 Turbo come in at third, fourth and fifth positions respectively. Another important thing to note is that smartphones have become such an integral part of our lives that we are probably going to use it even when it's charging and as a result the smartphone and charging technology needs to be equipped well enough to handle the occasional texting, video playback or even gaming while being charged. Whichever charging technology manages to charge the phone with the least amount of deviation from the original charging speed and rise in temperature is what the ideal standard would be. The charts below showcase the various charging times as well as the temperature during gaming and video playback during said intervals. 
In the video playback test, we consider the time taken by the phones to charge from 10 to 100% since video playback is not permitted when the smartphone goes below the former battery level. In this test too, the OnePlus 3 comes on top in terms of fastest charging time, but when you consider the actual amount of MAH being refilled, then VWC is the winner by a small margin. When you take a look at the other three, the positions have shuffled altogether since the Moto G3 comes in at third, while the Mi 5 and S7 come in at fourth and fifth respectively. This is the case with both charging times as well as MAH. The reason why the S7 in particular is so slow is because it is the only smartphone in the test to come with a 1440p display which essentially means that it has 4 times the pixel count of other smartphones and this in turn means that it will draw more power while the phone is getting charged. In the gaming test we played games on the smartphones while they were being charged and the results were similar to the video playback test. However, this time around the dash charge and VWC technologies were identical in terms of MAH. Companies such as OnePlus also boast about the ability of their charging technology and charger to handle the power management which prevents the smartphone from overheating and also manages to keep a pretty constant speed and current supply when charging. So to test that out, we also checked the temperatures of the smartphones at various intervals and also the time taken between each interval. In terms of thermal control, the adaptive charging on the S7 was the best all round since it had the lowest average temperatures during gaming and video tests while VWC took the cake on the normal charging test. In terms of overall thermal control, dash charge and VWC technologies were the next best things. Overall, we were quite impressed by both VWC and dash charge technologies that really offer great charging speeds while managing to keep the temperatures in check. Adaptive charging is perhaps the best when it comes to keeping the temperature under control but does tend to take longer to charge, but that's due to the phone's screen resolution itself rather than a fault of the charging standard. Also important to note that the turbo charging from Moto and Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 are no slouches and are incredibly fast in their own rights. We've come a long way in terms of charging technology in recent years and any of these would probably do the job for you. But this is where we leave the decision up to you and decide which is the best charging standard for your use based on the stats we have provided. So that was a quick look at the different charging standards from different companies and how they fared well over different smartphones. So we would leave this up to you to judge which is the best one for you and do let us know which one do you think is the best and why in the comment section below. If you like this video do hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.